Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Those coming back to the Most High through the sacrifice made by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. In whom we have the Holy Spirit in these latter days to stand on our feet. All right. And fulfill the prophecies that are written of the Israelites coming back to the understanding of who they were in the latter days via a remnant. And that's all it's about is the remnant. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you brothers and sisters saw the dialogue between us, uh, Great Millstone, uh, Dallas, and Sonetter yesterday. And even before him, there was a guy who we believe they all could have knew each other, could have all been a setup. You know, but pretty much whatever you guys are trying to do, whether you're trying to set up a debate, whether you're trying to, you know, get views, you know, because pretty much prophecy is the last thing standing. You know, I just, uh, Listen to a message from the beloved brother in our camp, Mike Allah. And he says some very, very important things, you know, because here it is, it's 2021. And you men are still asking these same questions about rape. These little minuscule points to try to, you know, trump what we believe in, make mockery. But meanwhile, the prophecies are coming to pass, man. You see, and, and see, the world around you is changing. And it's changing via prophecy. And you still got our people talking shit, playing games, mocking, laughing, looking for the next point, looking for the aha moment. All right. Uh, uh, trying to get money, set up debates using particular topics that are controversial to the flesh of our people. But the bottom line is this. Right. As we're going to read here in 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter, these prophecies are getting ready to hit, man. And you people on the comment boards, especially on Sarnetta's comment board, all of that mocking and scoffing. All right. You you all are being prepared. All right. For a, a, a famine. OK, a siege is being prepared. And these are the things we are here to tell you. Right. And you guys are still mocking, laughing, you know, still saying that it's the same shit over and over again. Nothing has changed. All right. But what, what, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does is he, he creates these controversies because maybe there's two or three uh, or maybe four or five people who are on the fence, who, who may be ultimately awakened through the Holy Spirit. That's how the Lord works. Thousands will watch. All right. But out of that thousands, all right, the mass majority of the people are set for judgment. And that's what's happening in the planet Earth. Judgment is being prepared. And we're not here to play with you people. All right. Now, what came from the dialogue came from the dialogue. But the bottom line is this. Whenever we try to get into prophecy. You guys start tiptoeing around. And you, you all don't want to deal with the realities of what's happening. You're looking for an aha moment and something for a point of contention to play around in the flesh okay and to make more money for your platforms right you all are gonna see very very soon man second edges the 15th chapter in the first verse behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy now the word prophecy means to say before and the things that are happening on the planet Earth were already written thousands of years ago. And we're here to expound on them, the prophets. Because when you get the book of Sirach, the 36th chapter. Okay. Sirach, the 36th chapter. In the 15th verse, it says, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the, the beginning. And the scriptures say we overcame this devil. All right. By the blood of Yahweh Shai and by the words. All right. Of our testimony. OK. So what's coming down the pipe. 
All right. Uh, you know, how what, what you all are going to do? What are you going to do? What do you believe in? How are you going to get out of this situation that's happening on the planet Earth? Are you going to conform? What's your way out? The scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. The prophets are here to give you a stable uh, uh, a mindset from the heavens. You got niggas with, did God talk to y'all personally? You still got niggas that don't get the concept that the heavenly father is going to give dominion to his chosen people to rule on earth. They still think when you think of heaven, you still think of, uh, because the scriptures talk about the heaven and the heaven of heavens. Right now we're under the heaven. Yeah, there's a spiritual realm that is known as heaven, right? But the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up on earth. That's a part of the testimony. We're here to tell you, Israelites, you're going to have a kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness. And all you can do is mock and talk shit. Go on, and we're going to go back to 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter. Excuse my French or my Swahili, right? Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. And that's one thing you all can't say about the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, starting with our apostles and elders, man. And, you know, the other brothers from the other camps who are sincere. We're faithful. The Hebrew Israelites have been faithfully hitting the highways and the byways and telling this devil to his face he's getting ready to go down. And everything that the prophets who are in the right spirit are saying, it's happening. Meanwhile, you all are still on the comment boards eating chicken. Looking for the next aha moment, talking shit, telling us to throw the Bible away and do what? Follow your dumb ass? Where are the comedic gods? Because here it is, you say there's no God, but then the, com the comedic believed in all of these various different gods. What say they? How are we going to get out of this situation according to the comedic gods and the, and the, and the great ancient wisdom of Africa and Egypt and all of this crap. What, 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 what does it say about now? None of you have the answers. So what do you do? You rather live in these gray areas to make yourself comfortable where you can talk shit about something you really don't understand. And that's where the average so-called Negro, all right, and the rest of the tribes as well, wants to be in a gray area. All right, in a position where they can laugh at something and just talk shit. But the severity of reality is getting ready to hit you people, man. All of you. Okay. Here it is. We always got to answer all these questions and break down the same damn points. Right. But that's all right, because maybe someone needs edification on it. But what, what, at what point? At what point are you all all right? Well, we're gonna we're gonna get into it because the, the 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 bottom line is this: the mass majority of our people are not able to understand what we're saying because the Lord ain't put the spirit on them to. They had they they have the spirit of delusion on them, man. Yeah, and it's ironic. Sonetta came up, and like I said, I had a vision. All right, that 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 would happen yesterday. Happen and it, and it, hey, it happened. Call Halal Yahab Hashem Shai. So the Lord is doing something here. Behold, Second Edges the fifteenth chapter, in the first verse. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Where can we? At what point? Because you all say the well, the Bible's stolen from the comedic. The Bible's this. Well, at what point are you going to go into where these documents where the Bible was stolen from and bring out your understanding of these things? Of what's happening in the earth of prophecy right speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth saith the lord the words that we're speaking the reason we're out on the highways and the byways and constantly doing these videos is because what we're fulfilling prophecy so the lord put particular things in our mouth to say a message that should stir up your pure minds if you're of the elect And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And everything that the prophets saw and writ and, and wrote and, and had scribed down in the form of the visions they saw, it's happening. 
Habakkuk said, in the end it shall speak, and the just shall live by faith. What are you all getting ready to do with the change that's coming to the earth? Because a change is coming, and this devil is not playing with what he's talking about. Fear not the imaginations against thee, right? This is to you, to us, man, the, the service to prophets. Because years ago, I would get pissed off reading some of the comments that, you know, you, you read and, and hear and the mindset of our people. But what does it say? Fear not the imaginations against thee. It's supposed to be like that. Judgment is getting ready to be set. So the Lord had... Him come up and, and put us live on his platform so you all can say whatever you want to say. But you don't understand that you're getting sealed for judgment. A lot of you niggas are getting ready to starve. Do you understand what's getting ready to happen on the planet Earth? The, a lot of, a lot of, they're getting ready to try to force something inside of you, your children. Right? Do you realize the severity of what they're trying to do on the planet Earth? So let not fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Now, we're going to look into this word incredulity real quick. OK, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Meaning you're going to have a big amount of Israelites speaking, our own people speaking against us. Now, here it is. The devil is telling you, 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 you got to do this. You got to do that. He's trying to change nature. Right. He's taking nature and saying, no, I'm going I'm to I'm create a, a, a different way, an, al an alternative reality. And none of you got nothing to say. Right. The, in, in, in the consciousness community has failed. I'm going to just say that. The house of consciousness has failed. It is nothing else. The, 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 the whole thing is done. Nothing came from it. Through. So the only thing y'all got to talk about is the Holy Scriptures, man. You're not going into those ancient uh, uh, Hamitic and Kemetic, you know, because Ham is Kim. It's a Hebrew word, Ham, Right. Y'all not going to those things and, and talking. Y'all y'all just talk about the Bible. Why is that? Hmm? The Bible was stolen from this. And we'll go into those documents and bring out the reality of it all. Now, Christianity has taken things from ancient Babylon, ancient Kemet, okay, and these various different uh, uh, heathen, right? But the true gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has nothing to do with it. Okay? The state, incredulity, the state of being unwilling or unable to believe something. And that's what the hell is going on with you people. You're unwilling to believe. So what do you do? You talk all types of crap. Right? Disbelief. Lack of belief. Lack of credence, doubt, questioning, suspicion. And for the, for the last, since 2008, you all have been asking the same questions. We haven't even, we haven't even progressed to a point with you all to where we can finally just get into prophecy and, and break it all down according to what's going on. You got other Israelite camps, which all, Sanetter, what he's trying to do, he's getting, you know, uh, uh, views for his platform. He's probably trying to set up a debate. You know, uh, because we're not going to debate the ISUPK. Maybe they'll come up to our camp. And if you come up, we're going to deal in the scriptures, man. I'm not dealing with that whole screaming back and forth and tough guy shit. If you all are going to come up and deal like men, we'll deal. But anytime we've tried to deal with the ISUPK, all they did was scream and call us pedophiles and rapists. I'm not for to deal with no nigga like that, man. And we're living in a time where all of the idle words... Matter of fact, let me get that. Matthew twenty, Matthew twelve and thirty six. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. All right, and this is why I tell brothers, right, and you sisters, you gotta watch what you say. 
be careful of what thoughts you allow to fester and not rebuke. Be careful of what you speak into other men. Okay, why? Because those words are going to be held accountable. You're going to be held accountable for those words. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of in the day of judgment. And we're in the days of judgment. Do you all see what's getting ready to happen? You think the devil just going to stop like, all right, now, nah, all right, we'll, the, 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 the jab, that's not making sense. So we stop. All right, y'all right. It, it, it doesn't make. No, he's going to keep going. And you got particular camps that have told Israel it is okay to bow to what they're trying to get you to do. You're going to have to pay for that, man. See, you all think you're just going to be able to yell rape, pedophile, and bring up these minuscule points and laugh your way out of judgment. No, nigga. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right? Right? <laughs> Romans 2 and 16 In the day when the Most High shall judge the secrets of men By Yahweh Shai HaMashiach According to my gospel Ecclesiastes 12 and 14 For God shall bring every work into judgment With every secret thing All of the little schemes of men and women Okay, the little, little you know, little BS I Think it's cute, huh? You think it's funny well, the Lord, the angels see you niggas, man. Right? Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Right? So, going back to the point. You know? <laughs> incredulity. Let not the incredulity, the lack of belief. Because here it is, we're piping and you all ain't dancing. Right? What was what, that in Matthew 11? Matthew 11 and 16. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? Because that same generation that rebelled against, all right, the Lord, uh, his disciples, the prophets of old, they're back today. Right? What does it say? But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. And that goes back to an ancient custom. I believe a brother brought it out. Okay. And saying we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. Meaning there was a particular, you was in the market. I believe it was ch something. I believe it, it may have been children around. And if a song was played and nobody danced to that song, it was an ancient custom. People would get mad at you. Right. Well, here it is. We're singing the new song. We're telling you, you, you Israelites, you're going to be per perfect. You're going to have a kingdom. You're going to have a government. You got one nigga talking about the, the, the heaven is a state of mind, not a government. Well, yeah, you're right. Heaven is a state of mind, but that state of mind will be translated when the law, statutes, and commandments are written in our inward part. We are going to establish a government on earth. Do you understand that? Every empire has fell. America is going to fall. What's next? The kingdom of heaven, the throne of David being established upon the earth. And all you niggas want to talk about is rape all day. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto the children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and you say he had the devil. Meaning our people, the son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Meaning our people, no matter what truth you bring, they're going to find something to laugh about. Look at their garments. Look at those bed sheets. Pigs go be in heaven. Yes, nigga, pigs will be in the heaven. What they go eat, they will clean the earth as they were intended to, to do. <laughs> that's what pigs are set up to do, clean the earth. Their food is the junk that's in the earth. Especially on a farm. 
everything that the Heavenly Father created is going to be placed back in its proper order. And I cannot wait because the mindset of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is absolutely done for, man. Through. Finished. The West has absolutely tainted you to the point of no return. And a lot of you need a reset button. But before you get reset, meaning your spirit goes back up to the spirit world, you, there's a lot of torture coming to you, you people, man. Because everything's a game to a nigga, man. So our people are going to find a way. If you, if you come uh, not eating and drinking, you go going to say he the devil. You come eating and drinking, you go going to say he a gluttonous. You come with the ancient garment, it's, it's a it's a towel, it's a, you know, you, no, no matter what we do, niggas are going to have something to say. So that's why Ezra says here in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Okay, we're just going to use the, uh, particular things to edify the flock because that's what it's all about anyway. And it's going to be more people who don't get it than people who do get it. And we have to be okay with that. Fear not the imaginations against thee, because you people imagine a vain thing. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. How is that? Behold, I saith the Lord, I will send plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. See that? Are not these things happening right now? Now, according to your belief, why are these things happening? And what's your way out of it when it gets, uh, when the going gets tough? According to our belief and our faith, and that's another thing, our belief, including the 12 tribes chart, that is our faith. Right? That is what we believe in through the Holy Spirit. Right? The natural man will not receive the things of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he can't. There's an angel literally blocking your mind. There may be particular things you get, but when it goes to, to other particular, you're not going to get it. This thing is only for the remnant. The remnant are the only ones who watch the videos and, and, and are comforted whether at one point you don't get it and you may be a mocker or a scoffer but at some point if you're of that remnant it's going to click into you you're going to get serious you still got people making fake pages uh, uh, scoffing you still got people crying that Israelites look like other heathen nations so the only thing I see I you know I understand now judgment when I first came into this thing I was too nice too timid it was still particular demons i'm fighting in that you know area but this is the thing judge the, the only way <laughs> the reason the lord brought the flood is because niggas just would not stop you would think our people would be like damn you know what something something ain't right what's going on give, give us understanding according to the, the okay what you know what's nah not a nigga man so what's prepared for you guys plagues Okay, plagues. And you're going to remember the shit you said. Sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what's being prepared for the wicked. Deliverance and a standard is being prepared for the remnant elect. And looking at what's going on on the planet Earth, how are we going to get out of this situation? Y'all constantly, what are we going to do? Get the black woman to fix all our credit? Get two banks and then uh, 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 set up Polite and the rest of the different uh, uh, leaders of the committed community to, 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 to lead us into some form of sovereignty here in Esau's system when he's getting ready to change the money? Huh? Your paper dollars and all of that. Remember Polite was worshiping that money? Those, that, those paper dollars are getting ready to be no more. And whatever you have in the bank, whatever you have in stock, everything you put your faith in, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, getting, you know, buying into, you know, particular uh, cryptocurrencies and things like that. But we know and understand there's going to come a point 
Well, they're going to cut that off. It's going to be a market. It's going to be a, a collapse. And what are they going to say? They're going to say your only way to get a piece of what you had. Okay. Is to fully submit your body into our new world order. How do you do that? According to Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. It was a book that this uh, guy talked. He said, no one will enter into the new world order without an oath to Lucifer, Satan. Right. What they're doing on the planet Earth is they're hoarding all of the resources to themselves. They're going to create man-made famines. OK. It's going to be crazy in the which is going to cause the average person who doesn't understand to submit. So what are you niggas going to do? OK, now what you, you, you came up, you know, you got the footage. What's next? What do you what do you get from these same back and forths? See, and the thing is, you you got to come to us. And that's the art of war. We don't come to your platform. You got to come to us, man. These other Israelite camps should have took that same stance, but they've allowed you to take this word and, 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 and use it for your benefit because they get a little cut or, or fame or, or likes and clicks. And, and, and no, nah, man, all we're here to do is preach the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai and tell you what is to come. If you don't believe it, okay, tell us what's to come. But I'm not going to sit here and argue all day about rape about this about that it's played out man time for you israelites and you 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 niggas appear to grow the hell up man for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled look at the wickedness going on in the earth here it is you you niggas got so much to say but the the devil is teaching your children luring them in to a system of, 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 of alphabet juice. And I'm not talking about regular ABCs. You know what I'm talking about. They're just telling you, just, just spreading this whole satanic agenda and you all are just sitting back. What is black culture? A, 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 a pot full of mess. There's no standards. None of you are standing up. The Israelites are standing up. And now you all want to benefit off the Israelites. That's all right. The Lord, hey, you think you you doing this? The Lord is doing his job. He's just using you. And you better repent. <laughs> you better repent. Because it's going to come to a point, You the, the, what starts happening on the earth, you'll be like, oh, shit. Hey, excuse my, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up this morning. So, you know, we, you know, so-called curse words, those aren't curse words but you know you do want to catch them with honey you don't want to overdo it with those words all right but it says therefore said the lord i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness man wickedness has polluted the whole and the whole, the whole reason you all don't think wickedness is really happening is because you don't understand judgment you mock the scriptures, which is gives you a law, an instruction on right, wrong, good, bad, how to handle a situation, how to run, to run a business, how to be with your brother, how to be a husband, how to be a wife. All of those things are in the scriptures, right? This whole world is promoting and setting up a system contrary to that, and you all don't really see nothing wrong with it. Why? Because you don't know or understand what righteousness is. And you all are being confounded. All right. And the tabernacle of David uh, uh, is being built. And it starts with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. How about that? And the brothers who are in the right spirit, man. And the men on down, the bishops the, the under them. All right. And the men on down who have entered into their labors, man. 
in the Great Awakening that uh, started in 2007. Those men had been laboring for years, but they put the word on the internet and look what it's led to. Even the people who talk crap about Great Millstone, your influence to get your ass out there and preach came from them. And the men who saw them and said, I'm going to do it too through the spirit, man. Which fulfilled prophecy, by the way, of the Israelites in the latter days standing on their feet to get the hell out of Babylon the Great, this spiritual Egypt we're in, man. That's what's happening. Prophecy is all around. Everything could be uh, 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 explained by prophecy. Why are all of these camps everywhere? Prophecy. Ezekiel 37. Right? And various others, man. So I will hold my tongue no more. And how is the Lord not holding his tongue anymore? The prophets. We're the mouth of the Lord. Right? I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. <laughs> Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves, man. All right, the, 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 the heathen, starting with the Edomites, and two-thirds of our people are off the chain. And I'll say this, two-thirds are worse, the worst right now. Because I'll say this, at least Esau, now we know the elite are all sick and satanic, but at least a lot of Edomites are saying, hell no, you're, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to, they, they're going to stand up and, 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 and fight, right? You got Edomites bringing out all sorts of information on what these people are trying to do. But what is a nigga doing? What, 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 it's talking about rape. Will you, hey, 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 the scriptures say their wives shall be ravished. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Let's just read a prophecy of what's to come here in Babylon the Great. Isaiah 13. <laughs> I'll start at 9 and then I'll read down. Uh, start at 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. All right. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Why would God do that? Well, it's happening. <laughs> Ooh, you people getting ready to get it, man. To lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners out of it, man. <clears throat> now, let me just jump down to the point. And I'm going to jump here, verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. The true men of the Lord are going to be more precious than fine gold. Okay? Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay, I'm going to just jump to the point that I wanted to bring out. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto him shall fall by the sword. And the mass majority of you pro-black, you, you people out there, period, you're joined into this system. This system is how you see your future. So what are you going to do? You're going to make a decision that is based on forwarding yourself because you think that they're God. You think that this system is it. You don't think that this place is going to fall. So what are you going to do? You're going to say, I got to do what I got to do, man. And you're going to fall by the sword. You got ISGPK. Who, 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 what, are you, how, what about your job? How we go eat? Now here it is. You're going to join yourself unto this system. And your ass still ain't going to eat. Why? Because you didn't trust in the Lord, man. You didn't make him your refuge. You said, no, this system is my only way to, to win. So you're going to take the karagma, right, and lose. That's what's being prepared, man. Their children all shall be dashed, shall be dashed into pieces before their eyes, their houses spoiled, and their wives ravished. Now, this is the... This is, coming this is already here but it's coming even worse right what does it say uh uh uh, uh i believe it's in second edge of the 16th chapter Hold on. um give me one second here yeah 
And I just really pulled up a few scriptures and pressed record. So it's the next chapter. So bear with me, you know, through the spirit. Right? Second Edra 16 and 33, the virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. Right? Well, the, he, here it is. It's another thing y'all always want to talk about. The woman leading. All right. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. The daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. Now, women have a very beautiful role. Don't get it twisted. Right? You, you need a man and you need a woman. All right, for the, 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 that's the order of the most high, right? But you all constantly talk about, can the woman, yo, you want this woman worship spirit? Can the woman lead? Well, we're coming into the times. We're going to see if you're going to be in that spirit when, when, when the, the women going to be looking at you like, nigga, you lead. Then you're going to be put to death and they're going to be screaming and crying. What the hell? We're in 2021 and you debating, can women lead? Women are set up to be help meets for their husbands and mothers to the children, man, to push the mindset of the father onto the children. But our houses are all broken up and messed up. So the Lord set up the men of the Lord, man. And we're restoring the order through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And either you get with it or you 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 lay down. That's all right. These are the, 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 you can laugh, you can, you can mock, but these things are coming onto the planet Earth. And when all of this stuff happens, let's see if you women will go want to be into leading in that day and want to be these bold uh, 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 shit talkers. We're going to see, man. We're going to see, <laughs> right? Okay. Lucky. It says the, the, the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms, the women shall mourn having no husbands, the daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Right? And if you are a, a sincere sister, when you don't have a husband or you you, you the Lord gonna take care of you. He's gonna put you in a situation. If you were chosen from the foundation of the earth, you're gonna be covered. And we're coming into the times where we're gonna have to walk into the unknown with faith and separate from Egypt as we did. When we went into the wilderness. But then you got I, IUIC and ISUPK telling you that your mind needs to be focused on securing your legacy here in America. When America is getting ready to collapse and be destroyed. The scriptures say that the Israelites in the latter days, real quick. The remnant is going to do this. And it should come to pass, Isaiah 10 and 20, in that day that the remnant of Israel, such as are escaped of the house of Jacob. And that's what's, the, what's going to happen. We're going to escape. Remember on the plantation, if you escaped, they caught you and they branded you. Well, they're going to try to brand you in a digital way in this time. How is that? The Karagma, the M-O-T-B. That is going to sign, seal, and solidify you as their property. That was what the branding was in ancient times. All right? But, but, but the remnant are going to escape the remnant of the house of Jacob, and they shall no more again stay or lean upon for support him that smote them. The fact that you still call yourself black, you're still leaning on Esau. You're still leaning on your oppressor. Right? The Bible is a white man's book. Really? But look, look let's, let's go into your ideologies and philosophies. There's never enough of that going on in these debates. and The, the Bible always is scrutinized. But let's go into your beliefs. Hotep. Let's go into the, 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 the creation stories of the Egyptians. Since we're so weird. But anyway, and this whole system America is patent, patented after ancient Egypt, which was captivity for you Israelites, and you're in captivity here through. 
The Holy Spirit is the only way out, man. So the, the remnant is no longer going to stay up on him that smote them, but they shall stay up on Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, man. And you all still stand up on his pseudoscience. A lot of you believe we got an ancestor named Lucy who was half monkey. But we're crazy. Anyway. Their virgins shall mourn, 2nd Edges 16 and 33, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. The daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. Well, I thought they could lead. I thought they were equal. What do you need help for? Because nature is getting ready to, 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 to take its course in the earth. Nature is reestablishing itself. And you have particular women who see it. Like, damn, I'm going to need some, I'm going to need protection. I need a I need a man. Now they doing videos crying. Saying what? You know, I don't need it. I don't you don't have to have money. You don't have to have you don't have to be six foot four. Cause the women had all of these standards. You had to do this, you had to have this, you had to have that. You can't do this, you can't be short, you can't be this, you can't be your stomach can't be big, you gotta be this, you gotta be that. But as soon as men start saying they have standards, we we hate women. So reality is setting in for a lot of you women. And when the store, your daddy Esau, this particular kingdom that has afforded you the comfort of being able to go get meat that's chopped up, right? Already packaged for you. When, when, when that system is cut off and you have to uh, 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 get, get it how you live and the spirit got to be dealing with you overall, you're going to need a man. Okay? You're going to need a man. <laughs> right so a lot of you just gonna be through right and the lord gonna put the spirit on us when that isaiah 4 and 1 take place don't think a lot of you scally you loser you know who've been look don't don't think you just gonna be accepted into the oh yeah you come here nah we, we you gonna be turned down in that day then this whole worship women, that, that, that whole spirit is going to go. Nature is going to take its course, man. And that's what this whole society is, is, is set up to do. Rebel against nature. The natural course of things. That's what the serpent and Eve got together to do. <laughs> they, they, the, the, the nature to attack, uh, 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 to, to make it to where Adam and the, the son, the men, the sons of God life would be hell. By setting up an alter reality, man. Pseudoscience. In the wars, their husband in the wars, their bridegroom shall be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. All you got a lot of women who talk a lot of shit. Well, you, you, Benny, right? He's gonna perish of famine. Okay? You gonna be sitting, or you may be sitting in the house with one piece of bread. He, he dies off of famine, then what? You're going to have to try to go out into the earth and get your next meal. And it's going to be a wild... And Esau making these uh, 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 zombie uh, uh, movies and, you know, the road. That stuff is coming. You're going to leave out the house and there's going to be somebody waiting on you. Maybe an Edomite that wants to eat you or somebody who wants to what? Ravish you. That's in the scriptures. These are the times that's coming to the earth, man. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. <laughs> and that's what we're that's what we've been set up to do, man. All right? But 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 the bottom line is this, man. This is Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, all right? And you weak ass men, Oh, man, uh, judgment and nothing but, and we're going to love every minute of it, man. All right, you got these false pastors, these false Israelite leaders telling you ain't no trouble coming. All right, uh, the, the Lord don't be judged when, when these things happen to our people, it ain't the Lord judging them. All right. See, a lot of you Israelite leaders, you, 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 you trim your way to seek love. You're worried about the opinion of Jake. So you cater your doctrine towards what they want to hear. But what's not standing up in these times? And you got you window shoppers watching and sneaking over 
hey, you better make a decision. You don't have to come and say, I apologize to GMS, but you better repent to Yahweh Bashim al Shah because a lot of you have talked a lot of shit and forwarded these narratives. All right? But anyway, also thou son of men, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls, in the doors, and in the houses, man. And you just see them, man. And now you got keyboards, okay, to just type, upload anything you want, say anything you want. Go to Instagram, be whatever you want. You have absolute dildo heads who are are, are, are the, the leaders of big platforms, like people who are low base men and women who have platforms with hundreds of thousands, even close to millions of followers. And these people are, are like these big, great niggas, right? So everybody can just say what they want, do what they want. <laughs> Humpty was a do what you like <laughs> Right And speak to one another So they're chilling in the house and in the doors And speak one to another Every one to his brother saying Come I pray you And hear uh, What is the word that cometh forth of the Lord When Sinetter Said we live with GMS Dallas Oh let's see what these niggas talking about Right <laughs> And you got particular people who just ain't right, man. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. You're not listening. You're the, the, the mass majority of the people who watch the videos are looking for a point to argue. They're murmuring, scoffing. They're looking for something to put on their platform to, 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 to get views. They're not sincere about really getting out of Babylon the Great. But we got to just keep preaching, man, because even some naysayers are going to be converted. It says, they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they show much love. But with their heart, they go after their covetousness. And Sarnetta is a great example of that. My Hebrew brothers. Right, but 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 he ain't fully uh, uh, repenting and coming. He's still with the comedic mindset, but he's heard the the Israelite thing. He's like, man, there's some of it makes sense, but he's not serious. Not serious about this word, man. And you went to the Passover. That that ain't that's not a, a you know some minuscule thing. You can't eat the Passover unworthily. So that's why I told you when you left, look, you better get serious about this thing. If you really going to call yourself saying you believe in the Bible and want to break down the scriptures, this ain't no just willy nilly thing. But because of a lack of respect and because of the, the, the narrative that has been pushed around in the scriptures, people don't think it's serious. So your heart still goes after your covetousness. You have your agenda. Right. And my, my thing is if you follow General Yohanna, that she'll it will follow what he says to do. <laughs> he did. Yeah, don't try to clean it up. He didn't say you got to take No, he said you will be a fool not to take it. You're going to die, basically. That's salvation to you niggas, man. And you, you uh, 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 Tazariak, you... Got your ass. You took your, you know you got a truck or a Jeep. You drove that truck to sign at a house to get onto his platform and tell Israel, I took it. How? That's weak, man. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Ah, oh, these Israelites. And hath a very, and hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear the words, but they do not do them. And that's what the prophets would do. They would go out. They would have, you know, the instruments. Well, now we just go out and we're singing a new song. And when this cometh to pass. All right, my, my brother, Yakya voice. And lo, it will come. All right, that got to be Yakya right here. Who says that, and lo, it will come. Right? So, and when this thing comes to pass. And lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. See that? <laughs> a prophet has been amongst you, telling you, pleading with you, 
breaking it down. Okay? But we're going to see, man. On to the next. Hopefully I'll edify. Shalom. <laughs>